Good afternoon, everyone. So today we are going to start talking um, just a short little introduction to ratio tables. So we have already worked with equivalent ratios. So equivalent ratios and ratio tables kind of go hand in hand here. So um, say we're going to build something and we're going to be using some triangles and some blocks. Just going to make sure that you guys, okay, perfect. You can see that. So if I have one triangle, I'm going to use four blocks. And if I use two triangles, I'm going to use eight blocks. If I use three triangles, I'm going to use 12 blocks. So what I want to figure out here is if I had seven triangles, how many blocks I would have. So ratio tables, it's really important that you know that I'm going to go multiply this by two and multiply this by two to get the next set of numbers. Okay. Now, instead of looking at this number that I have, I'm going to go back up to the top to the beginning number. And now I'm going to multiply that by three. Okay. And then I'm going to go, oh, four times three is 12. So all I have to do here to figure out if I have seven triangles, how many blocks I'm going to have is I have to go one multiplied by seven because one multiplied by seven is seven. And then I would go four multiplied by seven which is 28. So if I use seven triangles in my structure, I would have to use 28 blocks in total. So this is a ratio table again, because this is going, if I'm multiplying this by two, I'm multiplying this by two, I'm multiplying this by three, this by three. So if I was multiplying this by two and this by six, it's not a ratio table. So now I'm going to put up two tables and we're going to discuss if they are ratio tables or not. So three, one, six, two, nine, three, twelve, four. Okay. So that and this one. So let's compare these two and see if they're a ratio table or not. So again, if it's a ratio table, whatever I'm number multiplying this number by to get to this number, I'm also going to multiply this number by. Okay. So from three to six, I have to multiply that by two. Hmm. One. Oh, one times two is two. So we're looking pretty good on that one so far. Now three. So three times three is nine. One times three is three looking good still. 3 times 4 is 12 and 1 times 4 is 4. So this one is a ratio table because what I'm multiplying this number by to get this number and this number and this number is the same as what I'm multiplying this number by to get to the next one. Okay. Okay. So let's check this one out. I'll use a different color here. So 1 times 2 is 2. Hmm. 2 times 2 is not so this one is automatically not a ratio table just because of the first number that we checked out. Okay, so here's a ratio table. So we're going to fill in this spot here. We're going to figure out what goes here. So to get from three to nine, I have to multiply by three. So I have to do the same thing over here. So it's a ratio table. We have to do the same operation. So four times three is 12. So we can figure out what that next one would be. Um, not using ratio table, but using ratio is very similar, right? So this is essentially like this ratio, just different numbers. This is our ratio, this is the same ratio. Okay, they're equivalent. Okay, just like in the equivalent ratios one. So 3 to 10 equals something to 60. So same concept, just now we don't have a table. So to get from 10 to 60, I have to multiply by 6. So that means to figure out whatever goes in this spot here, I have to multiply 3 by 6, which is 18. So 3 to 10 is equal to 18 to 60. Thank you guys for watching.